los terroristas. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'd like to welcome you guys all to another Lions Leadership Program. Just to formally introduce myself to the people that does not know me yet, my name is Herbert R. McCod, and I'm the founder and president of Lions Leaders in Organized Networking. Now, our topic for today, we're going to be talking about momentum. There's a lot of people that has a, a little misconception about momentum. They believe that momentum is basically just work and just keep on working and just keep on working. Well, that's not the fact. You have to have a deep understanding of momentum. Now, let's try to understand momentum. Now, let's say this is a successful networker. There is four levels of building a momentum. Now, level one is set your mind. Level two is personal development. Level three is action and consistency. And level four, repeat and duplicate. Now, this sounds simple, but a lot of people doesn't even pass level one and two. Sa level one, dito yung set your mind. Na sa mga tao na hindi pa napapanood yung isang video ko, yung The Laws of Philosophy and Principle, I encourage you guys to watch it para maintindihan nyo yung level one. Now yung level one, you created even bigger dreams in your life. Binago mo na yung philosophy mo, yung pag-iisip mo, yung principle mo, yung pag-govern mo sa sarili mo, mas nagiging mas maayos, at yung values mo. At yung image mo sa mga tao at tikin sa iyo, mas mataas na. And that being said, lahat yan, nagkaroon ka ng direction. Now, yung level 2 is personal development. Dito sa personal development, kalamo mo matuto paano mag-present. Paano yung mga products? Ano mga ingredients niya? Ano, ano mga benefits niya pag ginamit ng mga customer niyo? And you have to learn how to talk to people. You also have to listen to audiobooks and read Na dito sa level 1 at level 2, dito na nakuha yung phrase na earn while you learn. Pero problema lang kasi sa daming-daming networkers dyan, sa level 1 pa lang, hindi na sila matapos-tapos, hindi nila maset yung mind nila. Yung level 2 din, hindi nila mapag-aralan para mag-present, ayaw nila magbasa ng libro, ayaw nila makinig sa mga audiobooks, ayaw nila pag-aralan yung products, ayaw nila pumunta sa product demo. Takot na takot pa sila magkausap sa mga tao. So, doon pa lang, pilay na sila. Hindi sila nag-build ng momentum. If you really want success in this business, yung level 3 at level 4 is where you have to keep building that momentum. Now, yung level 3 is what we call action and consistency. Dito na malalagay, lahat ng pinag-aralan mo sa personal development as sa pag-set ng mind mo, dito mo na ibubuhos lahat yan sa level 3. Dito ko na magko-commit, dito ko na magkakaroon ng integrity, kung paano ka usapin mga tao, yung dedication mo, yung perseverance mo, lahat yan. And from level 3 hanggang level 4, dito repeat and duplicate. Paano yung repeat and duplicate? Simple lang po yan. Dito ka na magte-train, lumalaki na grupo mo, nagte-training ka na, nagme-mentoring ka pa. The difference between training and mentoring is so simple. Regardless whether they get it or not, Matuto sila hindi, maging successful o bumaksak, wala kang pakialam dun. There's two different categories in teaching. is training and mentoring. The difference between mentoring is more personal. Basically, may accountability. You are accountable and responsible for your downlines or for your group's success. Kaya, the difference? Training, walang accountability. Mentoring, may accountability. And the last is go back to basic. Ano go back to basic? Go back to level 1. Once pumunta ka na sa level 4, i-repeat mo lang lahat ng ginawa mo. Set mo ulit yung mind mo. Magkaroon ka bigger values, bigger dreams, principles, direction, and philosophy. You go to level 2, level 3, level 4. Then you duplicate all the stuff you learned again down to your group. Kasi mas marami na alam mo. And then you repeat the whole process over and over and over again. Ganyan po ang networking. Ganyan po mag-build ng momentum. Hindi lang puro hataw, hataw, hataw. Magkakaroon ka ng mga grupo, ang damang pinasok, pero hindi mo masusustain, hindi mo ma-retain ang network mo. Eto, tingnan mo yung picture nito. Eto yung picture nito sa city center, Las Vegas. Now, can you agree with me? Uh, this uh, site, construction site, is basically, uh, ano pa lang, before yan. Eto yung pakagawa ng city center dun sa Las Vegas after to. Before and after. Now, most of you guys could agree with me na ganyan. 
hindi talaga before and after yan. The real truth of the matter is, yung before is the picture that you see in the back, yung maganda, at yung after palang yung construction site. Bakit? Kasi before, they even got to build the building, inimagine na nila yung lahat yan, naka-layout na po, lahat ng plans yan. Yung blueprints po yan, mga electrical wires, mga cemento, mga uh, measurements of per floor. I could go on and on, pero lahat yan, bago muna, tinatag ang foundation ng city center. Lahat yan gawa na at tapos na. Nagtanong ko sa inyo, hindi bara-bara ang negosyo. Kalangan, bago ko muna kayo magnegosyo, kaya nga may level 1 at level 2, is para maayos nyo ang plano nyo, matatag nyo ang foundation nyo, para one of these days, you will construct and build your own network. Now, personal development is very important in this business. Kasi kung wala kang personal development, you won't have power. Because everyone know that knowledge is power. Now, leaders are not born. Leaders are made. Now, let me give you a little story. Ah. Sa mga ibang tao dyan, I will prove to you that you are a leader and you are a champion. I'm gonna give you a little story. Isang gabi, umuulan. Yung nanay mo, mga magulang mo, nanay at tatay mo, nalamigan. At syempre, sa salamig ng panahon, nag-love making. Sa loob ng love making na yan, biglang nagkaroon ng the biggest marathon history in the whole entire world. This is where history is made. Imagine mo sa lahat ng one out of five million competitors mo, Paglabas mo sa testicles ng dad mo, and there's only one egg, and there's only one sperm cell that could actually get into the egg. How I imagine this is basically, there was like an epic battle just to get to the egg. And imagine mo, ikaw ang champion nun. Ikaw lang ang nakapasok sa egg. And that's how you are made. And that's why you are a winner, and you are a champion. Don't let anybody tell you different. The five fundamentals of learning. Average people don't use the five fundamentals. Now, the genius people uses the five fundamentals. Sino ba mga tao na gumagamit ng five fundamentals of learning? Let me give you a little glimpse kung sino mga tao ang gumagamit ng five fundamentals of learning. Wow, yes, this is our idol, Pacquiao. And sino pa yung next idol natin? Si Mayweather. Yeah, although hindi maganda ugali niyan, he still uses the five fundamentals of learning. And ang dami dami pa sa buong mundo ng mga successful people at yung mga well-respected people all over the world. It's never too late to learn something new. Anyone can be a genius in anything as long as they use the five fundamentals of learning. Want to learn the secret of being a genius? What is the five fundamentals of learning? Ito na, sasabihin ko na sa inyo. The five fundamentals of learning is the first one, interest and passion. Dito, pwede na tayo mag-debate dito eh. Maraming nagsasabi sa akin, yes, as long as you're interested and as long as you have that passion, that's all you need para maging successful in learning or maging successful in the stuff you want to learn. Pero tanong ko sa inyo, bakit marami dyan? May interest naman sila sa paglangoy, sa pag-ride uh, ng bike, hanggang basic lang alam nila. Hindi na sila natuto higher than that kasi may kulang. Ah, sabi mga tao kasi, yung kulang kasi niya is, which is the second part, is confidence and courage. Yan sigurado na magiging successful ang tao. Pero may kulang pa yan eh. Kasi ang daming tao pa rin, kahit malakas na loob at may courage, nagiging intermediate lang ang knowledge at skill nila dun eh. Tapos sinasabi mga tao, Hindi, hindi, hindi. Gusto ko bawin. Hindi lang interest, passion, at confidence, and courage. May practice and action. Ayun. You have to be careful with practicing what you learn. Kasi maraming magsasabi sa akin, practice makes perfect. Sa mga tao nag-agree dyan, mali po kayo. Kasi practice don't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. So if you practice the wrong stuff, then you will master doing the wrong things. Okay, be careful what you practice, be careful what you read. Marami naman dyan, maraming action. Araw-araw nagpa-practice. Gabi-gabi. Pero, sa totoo lang, they don't explore things. 
that will make them better. Now there's interest, passion, confidence, courage, practice, and action. And the fourth one is lifestyle and habit. Kaya yung mga tao hindi naging successful sa ginagawa nila kasi wala sa lifestyle nila at sa habit nila. And the fifth and last one is the sense of urgency. Kailangan nyo po ng sense of urgency. Meaning, live like there's no tomorrow. Dream like you live forever. Here's one thing na kailangan nyo maintindihan. What is the five guaranteed things in life? Number one is death. Number two is tax. Number three is sickness. Number four is unexpected events. And number five is God's love. Uh, no matter how you look at it, guaranteed po yan. We're all gonna die. We just don't know when. We all get taxed. Lahat ng tao nagkakasakit. Ano ba yung mga unexpected events na yan? Yun yung mga, ay, na-accident si ganito o na natasalisid ka, natapilok ka, hindi ka makapasok. So, ibig sabihin nun, hindi ka sa sweldo sa araw na yun. We all have God's love. Now, you see, these five guaranteed things in life, alam natin, nandyan yan in the future. Pero hindi natin alam kung kailan. But all we know na every day that passes by, we're getting closer and closer and closer to these five guaranteed things in life. Now, let me ask you something. Are you prepared for death? Are you prepared for your taxes? Are you prepared when, in the case of when you get sick or your family gets sick? Ma unexpected events at unexpected expenses mo. Prepared ka na ba lahat dun? Pag hindi ka prepared dyan, sabihin ko sa inyo, you are in trouble. Now, here's the thing. Here's your future. What are you doing now? Take action. That's why you have to get that sense of urgency. Personal development does not stop in one book or three books or in one seminar or two seminar. Ang dami mo po ng libro kailangan basahin. Personal development is a continuing study in making yourself a better person and getting yourself all the right skills and knowledge. Now you know the formula of successful learning. Pwede ka na maging genius. Just follow the five fundamentals of learning and I can guarantee you if you really follow it by heart, you could become a genius in whatever you are doing. Now let me tell you a story about Michael Jordan. Ang dami nagsasabi sa kanya na genius siya. He was a born good basketball player. For all the people that doesn't even know his history and his story, alam mo ba si Michael Jordan? Yung high school siya nag-basketball. So sobrang hindi siya magaling mag-basketball. Natanggal siya sa basketball team. Marami siguro magugulat ngayon. Ano? Natanggal si Michael Jordan sa basketball team niya sa high school? Yes ma'am and yes sir. Pero from that point on, si Michael Jordan talagang pinuso niya yan. Ginawa niyang personal yan. Instead of nag-give up siya at nagmukmuk siya, araw-araw nagpa-practice yan. Every day, every night, any chances he gets, nagpa-practice siya mag-dribble, mag-shoot, nagpa-practice siya mag-basketball. And I'm gonna tell you something, Michael Jordan has the heart of a champion. Parang nga sabi ni Michael Jordan eh, it doesn't matter if you win as long as you give everything in your heart. Now that's an amazing success story, Michael Jordan. In a nutshell, just before we end this training, to understand your momentum in network marketing, there's four levels you have to know. Number one is set your mind. Number two, personal development, action, consistency, and repeat and duplicate. So remember to follow those steps and don't try to get ahead of yourself because everything takes time. Building stuff takes time and success takes time. Sa mga bago sa networking dyan, mag-focus lang kayo sa level 1 at level 2. Pag nakapag-pass na kayo sa level 1, level 2, get into level 3 right away and level 4. Repeat and duplicate. Nagpapasalamat naman ako ulit sa mga tao na nanonood ng video training nito And stay tuned for more training videos on Lions Leadership Program Ako ulit si Herbert R. Bacod, And I like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you guys all And may you guys all have a wonderful day and God bless